Hello students and welcome. Today we'll be talking about cause and effect relationship in scientific text. Making connections. I can explain the relationships between scientific concepts by using specific details from an expository text. What is expository, expository text? Type of nonfiction text, author's purpose is to inform the reader about a topic, gives real facts and information, could include text features such as headings, photographs, and captions. And that word is expository, okay? Expository text. Cause and effect. Science authors want you to know, not only know what happens, but why it happens. Cause and effect is a type of text structure an author uses to explain what happens, effect and why it happens, the cause. Sometimes one cause may have multiple effects. You can monitor their understanding of cause and effect by asking yourself what happened, why did it happen, you can also look for cause and effect signal words such as because, so, due to, and as a result. Understanding cause and effect relationships allows you to make inferences and reason about things that happen all around you. For example, you could understand why leaves change color in the fall. So here is three examples of effect and a cause. So. Effect is what happened and causes why did it happen. Thomas was feeling sleepy. He was feeling sleepy because he stayed up late doing his homework. So the effect was Elijah missed the school bus. The cause was because he didn't decide what to wear. So as a result of that, the effect was he missed his school bus. This last one, the football game was canceled. This is what happened. The cause was because it was raining. Underline the cause and effect details. So we're gonna read about global warming. Global warming has also changed the feeding patterns and behaviors of polar bears, walruses, seals, and whales. It may even impact their survival. Polar bear live only in the Arctic. They are completely dependent on the sea ice for all their life needs. In the winter, females give birth to cubs. The mother polar bear eats little or no food during the winter. As spring approaches, the bear family makes a run onto the sea ice to feed on seals. Their main source of food, if the ice melts, their food supply will be cut off. And there, this will impact their survival. So what is happening? What's the effect? Polar bears and other animals are at risk of having their food supply cut off. Why is it happening? Which is the cause? Ice is melting from the rising temperatures of global warming. Atmospheric warming. can cause a rise in ocean temperatures and place coral reefs in jeopardy. Coral reefs are found in warm, clear, shallow oceans. They are home to many kinds of fishes, um, jellyfish, um, anemones, crabs, turtles, sea snakes, clams, and octopuses, and the algae that gives the reefs their stunning colors. Most coral reefs 
are highly sensitive and even a small change in water temperature any amount of carbon dioxide in the water can kill algae in a reef. If coral reefs die, then much of the animal life they support will be wiped out as well. So what is happening? The effect. Coral reefs are in jeopardy of dying and other sea animals will die. Why is it happening? Because at Atmospheric warming can cause a rise in ocean temperatures. So this is our turn and talk. How is global warming impacting our Earth? Expository texts are fiction stories with characters. Is that false or is that true? You said false, you are correct. Science authors often organize their writing with cause and effect relationships. You said true, you are correct. The cause is why something happens. You said true, you are correct. An effect is what happens as a result of a cause. If you said true, you are correct. Select three cause and effect signal words. Here they are. As a result, due to, and since. Read the text. What causes people to get sick? that they can get sick by going into cold weather improperly dressed. However, illnesses are not caused by temperature minus they are caused by germs. So while shivering outside in the cold probably won't strengthen your immune system, you're more likely to contract an illness indoors because you will have greater exposure to germs. If you said germs was the cause for people getting sick, you are correct. What about this one? Why does the teacher not allow students to chew gum in class? Why does the teacher not allow students to chew gum in class? not allowed to chew gum in my class. While some students think that I am just being mean, there are many good reasons for this rule. First, some irresponsible students make messes with their gum. They may leave it on the bottoms of desks, drop it on the floor, or put it on other people's property. Another reason why I don't allow students to chew gum is that it is a distraction. When they are allowed to chew gum, students are more worried about having it, popping it, chewing it, and snapping it than they are about listening, writing, reading, and learning. This is why I don't allow students to chew gum in my class. If you said all of these, you are correct. Which sentence best explains why sea levels around the world have risen? The average temperature on Earth has climbed more than one degree since the late 1800s. Two, as a result, 
the world's oceans have slowly gotten warmer. 3. Glaciers and ice caps have begun to melt. 4. Water from these melting ice masses has raised the sea level around the world. 5. Since 1880, the sea level has risen 8 inches. 6. Scientists predict it will rise between 22 and 79 inches by 2100. 7. This has caused some concern among scientists. You said sentence three. You are correct. Which sentence best explains why octopuses and squids are able to escape from their attackers? Octopuses and squids having snacks. Two. When they are in danger, they defend themselves by shooting a thick cloud of dark ink from this sack. 3. Once the ink is released into the water, it hides the octopuses and squids from their attackers. 4. As a result, the octopuses and squids have time to escape. So it says which sentence best explains why octopus and squid are able to escape from their attackers. You said sentence three, you are correct. Which sentence contains a cause and effect signal word? You said sentence four, you are correct. So what did you learn? I can explain the relationship between scientific concepts by using specific details from an expository text. Explain what cause and effect is. How do good readers determine cause and effect relationships? Why is it important to understand cause and effect relationships? So here we're gonna draw a line to match the cause and effect. Cause to the effect. The car ran a red light. It should be here. I'm going to take my pen out, right? It should be from here to here. The cause was the car ran a red light. The effect is another car hit it. The second one, Ben stayed up late. The effect is he was sleepy the next day. The next one, the students were quiet in class. The effect is the teacher gave them a reward. The boat had a leak. The answer for this one the effect is it sank. And the last one, Jake's shoes weren't tied. And the effect was he fell down. And that's A. Okay? And that is it. That's all we're talking about today. Per